Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Telecom's firm Digital Jamaica has pulled its ads from Zip 103 FM for 30 days over the radio station's posting of a video on Wednesday showing a program host gifting Ramon Silvera a bat symbolic of the stick he possessed while ordering passengers to leave a taxi during a protest in Kingston on Monday. The station, which has apologized, is facing backlash on social media over the video with critics accusing it of celebrating criminality and intimidation. Reggae singer Savannah, who pleaded guilty to death by dangerous driving, was sentenced on Thursday to pay a fine of $300,000 or spend two years in prison. The resumption of the Klansman Wan Don Gang trial in the Home Circuit Court has been delayed again, this time until January. The long-standing trial, which was last adjourned in September, was slated to resume on Friday with presiding judge Chief Justice Brian Sykes set to begin his summation. Manchester taxi operator Orlando Powell has been freed of murder after a judge said there was no evidence linking him to the mob killing of a 62-year-old man in Mandeville in May. Chieftain Campbell was attacked and beaten after being pointed out by an unknown individual as someone who had allegedly robbed a man some time ago. In sports, former vice president of football's world governing body FIFA, Austin Jack Warner, on Thursday lost his fight at the Privy Council against extradition to the United States on corruption charges. The court dismissed Mr. Warner's contention that the extradition request was unlawful and now paves the way for proceedings to resume in the Twin Island Republic. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $154.37, the British pound sterling for $187.15, and the Canadian dollar for $118.30. In your weather forecast, Friday will be mostly partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.